This right here is an EcoFlow Delta Mini and I believe it's the smallest solar generator that EcoFlow makes in the Delta lineup, okay? So this is the first generation one and now this episode I'm going to show you how I use this solar generator to power my mini split AC. This is my mystical DIY third generation mini split. This is a 12K BTU unit and it runs at 115 volts. So the way that this easy generator switch works is that it allows you to select between either generator power or normal power. Or the other way to look at it is uh, inlet power from this inlet, right? Or grid power if you select it this way. And the way that um, the safety thing about this, pretty much the benefit of this is instead of having an entire transfer switch for the whole panel, you can pretty much switch one circuit that you connect up to this, right? Because this inlet switch or generator switch is pretty much connected through this runway here to the uh, AC circuit in this panel on the mini split, right? So by having to select between inlet power here or grid power here, you can't possibly backfeed the grid or you can't cross between the two. There's no way if it's wired properly, okay? So uh, most people who have a, a generator transfer switch or anything like that will have some type of interlock kit on their panel. Um, on this panel, I really just have uh, the AC mini split unit uh, connected to uh, this circuit, which allows me to switch between the two. The interesting thing about this is that this uh, unit has a 15 uh, amp breaker here, even though the circuit that it is wired to is a 20 amp breaker using uh, 12 gauge wire. So uh, in this case, on a mini split like a 12K, it's not really a problem mainly because it doesn't draw that much power, but you probably won't be able to do this if you're trying to connect it to something that was gonna require high power, like you know an electric heater or an hair dryer or something like that. It may work, it may not, depending on your situation, but I'm just letting you know right now that's how this works, all right? So let's talk about what's going on with this unit, okay? First of all, this is not a review of this unit and this video is not sponsored. Nobody sent this to us. We bought all this their own monies. But let's go ahead and tell you how we run this solar generator or how we use the solar generator to run the AC, okay? So obviously like most all Del uh, EcoFlow Delta units, all the AC and input and stuff like that is on the back of the unit. As you see back here, we have a 12 gauge extension cord connected and this 12 gauge uh, extension cord is connected to the panel uh, or connected to an easy generator switch, which is actually connected to my panel. And then with the generator, uh, easy generator switch, it actually allows me to switch between um, inlet power or grid power. So inlet power is really designed for, you know, like gas generator and stuff like that. But more now recently, we see a lot of people, including myself, um, use a solar generator to power that inlet power and we'll go ahead and take a look at that later, okay? This cable right here is for solar coming in. It's the EcoFlow uh, MC4 the XT60i connector and that's really how this generator is configured. Okay. So now let's take a look at what it says on the screen here, okay? So right now with the sun coming in and out behind the clouds, we're getting roughly about 226 watts of solar coming in and we're putting out roughly about 600 watts of output uh, or the AC is consuming. The battery is currently at 46% and given its current cooling mode with the current energy coming in, this unit will run you about one hour, okay? So if everything was the same right now and this battery was at 100%, uh, this unit will run you about two hours, okay? So uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, with this unit, um, from my experience, I'll tell you, you can get a whole day out of it if you're very careful, but realistically for most people using it, you know, with normal usage and stuff, you're probably gonna get close to about half a day, right? Um, I don't mean half a day as in 12 hours. It's really like half a day in terms of when you're like awake, okay? So um, what does this really mean? Um, half a day, I'm gonna say probably maybe six to eight to 10 hours, depending on how low you set your AC unit. We'll go ahead and take a look at that in the app. But right now, uh, pulling 600 watts out and 220 watts coming in, uh, it's gonna run about 56 minutes. The reason that we're gonna talk about this is because um, right now, I let the room heat up earlier today just to, so it'll heat up and the AC, we can use the AC to pull the room down to a set temperature, okay? So right now, this AC is running in a lot more cooling mode than it is once it reaches that temperature. So uh, even with the AC or inverter mini splits and stuff like that, it's going to pull, 
consume a lot of energy to, to pretty much cool the room down or dump the heat to outside, let's just say, right? So uh, once it reaches that temperature, this uh, output will hover maybe anywhere between 75 to 150 watts, depending on, you know, what your room conditions and stuff like that are gonna be like. This is a pretty small bedroom that I'm using this in. It's an office room or whatnot. It's a bedroom that I use as an office, but it's, I don't know what the exact dimensions are. If I had to guess, maybe like 12 by 15 or something like that, who knows, right? Um, so it's not always gonna be pulling 600 watts. A lot of times I'll watch it and it'll be pulling 75 watts or 120 watts or something like that, right? So as the solar keeps coming in, and right now it's not even like peak radiance, um, the amount of time here will eventually go to like six hours, four hours, five hours, or something like that, right? So even right now, if, if you can hear in the background, the EG4 and PPT controller is ramping up and down because the solar is coming up and down. So uh, eventually this will hit probably close at peak radiance, about 280 maybe. Um, actually on this unit, it may be going about 320 if I remember correctly, but it, it'll ramp up and down. The point is don't trust this number mainly because this number is uh, the estimate based on the current information that it has. It doesn't take into account what it's running, how long it's been running, and that, that historical, this is really just based on current usage, okay? So, as I mentioned, not to sound like a broken record, the current usage on this is gonna be uh, 560 right now, but it can hover between, let's just say 75, to about 560 or anywhere in between, allowing you to get half a day with this unit. But if you're very careful and you make sure, you know, you raise the temperature up a little bit and then when it's not so sunny, you're not trying to use as much, um, you could probably get away uh, about a whole day with this unit, but not realistically, okay? So uh, if you wanna stretch it out, like this, say if you're in a hurricane pinch and you have no power, you got no grid power and you really just need to cool down a little bit, you can make do with this, okay? All right, so the reason I'm talking about this is mainly because um, obviously running this unit to, to run the mini split AC is not gonna be realistic. If you wanted to run a solar generator to use an AC all day, I would recommend probably at minimum the Delta II Max. You could probably get away with the Delta II and an extra battery, right? But that's about two kilowatt hours of storage. But if you have a Delta II Max and a Delta II Max extra battery, that's about roughly four kilowatts, uh, watt hours worth of storage, right? So uh, that will actually allow you to get pretty much a, a day, at least in my configuration, using the 12K Mr. Cool DIY mini split, about a day realistically just with like normal usage, okay? Now, it will not take into account if you have like uh, a rainy day, right? You could probably get all day out of it, but then you're gonna need to let it charge all the way back up before you can really continuously, you know, get full autonomy, let's just say, right? So if you really wanted to run a solar generator to get uh, a run in AC unit, you probably really want to get, if you wanna stay with this type of unit, the EcoFlow Delta Pro, right? Cause that's about 3,600 watt hours. And if you get one extra battery, that's about 7,200 watt hours total, right? But if you get two extra batteries, now you're probably close to about, over about 10 kilowatt hours, right? So uh, with that set up, you could probably not have to worry about if it's raining or cloudy and stuff like that outside. With anything lower than that, like with this or even the Delta II, you will have to worry about that. But with the Delta II Max and extra battery, you know, it may be something you think of on the back of your mind, but you're not going to worry about it too much. But the Delta Pro will probably really let you get by. So the whole point of this video is really just to give you everybody information about how much energy like an AC unit uses, what's realistic, what can you really get by, what should you expect, right, um, to to kind of be able to run an AC unit during times of need, right? So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this covered a lot of the stuff that people may have questions about. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.